Hi guys, with the Forgives app. So today we are going to talk about Red Velvet and Blackpink getting aged by Korean and Malaysian rapper Joy revealing her struggles, Hyuna getting married. So we don't waste your time, let's dive in. Namewi is a Malaysian rapper. Now he's under fire for making references towards Blackpink in his new song, You Know Who Is My Father? Namewi is a very problematic person. He gets himself into many controversies, such as including racist elements in his film Bambi. Written in Mandarin, the line Always look at Blackpink and M, the translation originally appeared on screen in the music video, so if you want to, you can go check this out. However, the line still remains in Mandarin and in the audio itself. Unsurprisingly, Fans across social media are disgusted by his actions. Many blinks on Twitter have been attempting to report the music video on YouTube, with others calling on YG Entertainment to investigate the issue and protect Blackpink from him. Since then, Namewi has only gone on to antagonize Blackpink fans' father. In the comments of the You Know Who Is My Father music video, he thanked Blinks for his increase in views, references their songs to How You Like That. He later used the same response as the YouTube description for his newly uploaded lyric video. The rapper went on to claim that fans have failed to understand the meaning of this song, which he liked to K-pop listeners getting hyped up without knowing any Korean. Namewi then made a vulgar comparison to his own interest in X-rated Japanese videos. Red Velvet found themselves in a very similar situation with Vix Ravi. Vix Ravi recently released his solo single Cardigan and a mini album Roses, but one B-side track in particular is attracting attention. After the release of Roses, Ravi came under fire from Korean netizens and international cable fans alike over allegedly lyrics about the girl group Red Velvet in one of B-Side's tracks, Red Velvet. As Ravi opens Red Velvet with the lyrics I take a bite out of Red Velvet cause I know you love me, it initially appears that the soloist is referring to the popular desert Red Velvet cake. However, the song takes a different turn when Ravi begins to make several direct references to the gear group Red Velvet. First, Ravi Rap's Dum Dump Dum Dum Dump is the name of one of Red Velvet's most popular songs released back in 2015. Before mentioning Dum Dump, again the song also includes the line Russian Roulette, the title of a 2016 Red Velvet song. On top of his words, the Korean words Soyeon Hanun and Yeri Hangin can also be found in the lyrics. While the references to Red Velvet don't appear to be problematic in themselves, they become an issue because of his song's alleged metaphors and undertones. I take a bite out of Red Velvet, I can't hold it back anymore, stop testing me. I take a bite of a Red Velvet cause I know you love me, take a bigger bite. Drip it dangerous, push the head down for me. Flip, babe, turn around and show me your back, babe. You and I shouldn't be in the same room by ourselves. I got no place else to go. Run and run we go, dum dum dum, dum dum dum. Ravi apologized in his statement. He claimed responsibility, mentioned that he personally contacted SF Entertainment to rely his apology and revealed he will be taking down the song. As you guys know, Joy debuted with her solo album Hello two days ago. Now she joined SBS Floor FM's Cold War show as a special guest. My audio got cut here so let's continue with this dumb robot voice. During her time on the show, Joy discussed details behind her album as well as her struggles with promoting solo. Since Hello is a remake album, Joy clarified that while she also has the desire to create her own songs, the songs within her solo album all hold a special place in her heart. Hello has become a huge success after its release and although Joy is doing great with her solo activities, she admitted promoting without her members is not as easy as she thought it would be. She revealed this is my first time debuting with a solo album. 
What I had previously done as five members, I am doing alone now. It's much more difficult than I thought it would be, so I try to text with my members often. Hyuna and Dawn have been dating for some time now, they proved their beautiful relationship in a recent Instagram post that had fans convinced the two just got married. With the two all dressed in white surrounded by several balloons, it was hard not to suspect Hyuna and Dawn might have gotten at first glance. Fans also know that Hyuna and Dawn have been dating since 2016, so thinking that the two had wedding was not a crazy thought. With the long relationship and the happy photos pointing to a possible marriage, fans couldn't help but question whether the two had actually done it. Despite all of the speculation, they had not tied the knot. In her most recent birthday series post, Hyuna should offer birthday cake that read, Happy Birthday and Welcome 30. Hyuna and Dawn's photos and their fans' confusion became so huge that Hyuna started trending on Twitter. Okay, so let me guys know what do you think down in the comments. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel for more. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!